and gentlemen to RC Racing TV's live coverage of the EFRA 110th IC Track European Championships. And it's my pleasure to bring you along to the press conference now for the European B Championships and the top three in the final, including your new European B Champion, are along to talk us through that action-packed final and give us an insight on just exactly what went down out there. First, let's start off with the European B Champion himself, Tom Krugewski. It seems like only yesterday we were here talking in this exact same position and in fact it was after you got through as top qualifier. Just how perfect a week has this been for you? Yeah, the week was absolutely fantastic. Uh, we prepared the car super well um, and everything was okay. Um, so we find a good speed, had good setup from the beginning and we could finish with similar one. It looked like the, the final you kind of let it almost from start to finish, but that can be difficult in itself when you've got a lot of pressure on you. How did you deal with that going through the final and how did you just keep your concentration throughout the final? Yeah, I just have to hold the concentration. I didn't want to push um, too much. Um, normally it was the plan, um, but the car was uh, mm, okay, but a little bit tricky with the high, uh, right high. Um, but it, uh, it ends up uh, good. Uh, you had some fantastic battles throughout the week, particularly in qualifying with uh, Yannick Nemislo sitting alongside you as well as Umedos Tumen flanking you as well. Just how important do you think it was in your own success here to have such great guys also pushing you all the way? It was super important. All guys on the track um, give me a lot of space and I try also uh, to give them space uh, to have a smooth race without uh, any risk for uh, the drivers. Uh, it was perfect, super fair race. Excellent, good to hear it. And of course, you are now European B champion, which uh, you'll be moving up into the A ranks now. What are your expectations going forward, moving into the top tier of European competition? Uh, I try to practice m even more uh, to find also the speed for uh, uh, higher competitions. Um, but I try uh, everything and uh, more I cannot do. Well, uh, it's good to hear from you. Congratulations on your European B championship win. Thanks very much for talking to us, Tom. Thank you. And uh, let's hear from the second place finisher, Yannick Nemislo. Uh, Yannick, as I just said, you and Tom had some fantastic battles throughout the week and uh, it was incredibly tense. Uh, talk us through that final and how it unfolded and uh, ultimately were you kind of happy with how it played out in the end? Yeah, the week was incredible for me. Uh, the overnight TQ, I would have never thought about that because I got here and had no idea where, in which level I will end. And um, Tom was just incredible fast. Uh, yeah, and the final was quite well for me. Uh, in the uh, at the beginning, I was able to push a lot, uh, but Tom was just faster. <laughs> uh, and after the tire change, my car was quite tricky to uh, to to drive because of the different uh, diameters of the tires. But it went quite well. You were able to, you and uh, uh, Tom were able to kind of maintain a very consistent level of pace and performance throughout the entire week. Uh, a lot of drivers, including some of the most experienced in this field, have talked about how much the track changes session on session. Just how difficult was it to stay ahead of the track and keep your car sort of on a place where it was always so consistently good? Uh, yeah, it was very hard to uh, adjust the car for everyone because for me it was just everyone was a bit different the track got more traction less traction uh, the more uh, warm the track got it got even high traction and uh, traction rolling was also quite a big problem but we managed to find a good setup well that's excellent and of course you are a uh, european b champion runner-up uh, for this year you'll also be uh, presumably heading up to the a uh, division as well what are your expectations going forward and uh, how do you reckon you're getting a fare against uh, some of the big guns up there <laughs> I think uh, to uh, the competition with the uh, uh, big guns there, how you call them, uh, I will have to practice a lot uh, and it will also take a lot of time to get there uh, to the top spots, but I will try to practice. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, we like to like to hear your confidence from the young guns as well. Congratulations, Yannick, on your second place finish now. Umedos Tumen, third place finisher in the final. Uh, talk us through that final because the battle for third was pretty varied and quite a lot of people held it. So. Uh, when you took third in about the final third of the race, uh, how did you kind of deal with that on the fly to suddenly realize you're on the podium and uh, finish it out, close it out? Yeah, uh, the beginning of the race, I was in the, sixth, uh, I was in the seventh spot 
and it was really hard to push to the up and I was actually consistent enough I think and the other guys wasn't enough maybe that's why I, I was successful but the, the entire week was terrible for me because I had five qualifications with a problem mechanical problem so yeah I'm happy that I'm third in the B so I, I guess the, the obvious next question is just how proud are you of having turned around a weekend that probably a couple of days ago looked like it was already lost yeah uh, actually uh, I don't have much to say about this <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, I'll give you, a, I'll give you a fairly obvious question. How does it feel to uh, get on the podium in front of your home crowd here in, uh, here in uh, Izmir, Turkey? Uh, this, this was my first race on GP. And I had no experience with GP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, he's lost for words. That is how proud he is of his performance this week. Uh, thanks very much, guys, for talking to us. Congratulations all on being the podium finishers for the Euro B Championship 2015. Congratulations, Tom, for being champion. I look forward to seeing all of you guys doing great things in the top tier of European competition next year. Thank you very much. Thank you.